uh, Mr. Harry Rutan, who's one of the world's famous uh, lens designers out there. Uh, yesterday was his birthday, and so we want to say happy birthday. Uh, I did leave a comment on his uh, Facebook page, but uh, anyhow, I wanted to officially recognize it today with Explore Scientific. Uh, Harry was the one who designed the um, uh, HR coma corrector. That's the reason why we call it HR is because Harry Rutan designed it. Um, and the way this thing works is it's, it's a variable coma corrector. It can work from very fast to um, you know, longer focal length Newtonian telescopes. Now this is a Newtonian telescope that has a parabolic primary mirror. So if you've got a, let's say a Mac Newtonian, for example, uh, this is not for that, okay? The Maxitau corrector itself uh, corrects out, um, uh, you know, uh, distortion. But this, this is for parabolic primary mirrors. And uh, so the way that it works is you slide this into the focuser first, okay? Then what you do is you attach your eyepiece or your camera up on top. Now you'll notice that, that uh, I can turn this and what you do is you rotate this to the position of where, you know, if you're just looking through the eyepiece, you see the coma just disappear at the edges. Okay, just all the stars become round dots. The same thing would be true uh, with your camera. You would rotate this and of course you'd have to be adjusting focus until you get that. But once you have it nailed down for that eyepiece or that camera, then there is a locking ring which you turn right here and then that locks the position of it and that's it so it's pretty simple but it's a fantastic device and Harry did a great job on it so I think you'll love it. At 4 p.m. Central uh, we come back with the Open GoTo Community Live program with uh, Kent Martz and Jerry Hubble. Uh, uh, we will have part two of two of uh, the Mark Slade Remote Observatory which has got a Explore Scientific ED-165 in it uh, that's supported with a uh, Lozmandy G11 mount, all running with the PMC-8. Um, he's got uh, dome controls. They have everything for complete remote operation of that telescope, so it's really cool. Um, so we will, we will finish that up today, but uh, uh, yesterday Jerry had started down the path of showing uh, Lots of detail about all the uh, controls that we use uh, on that system and uh, software that's used on it as well. Um, a special guest on our show tonight uh, with the Open GoTo Community Live will be Robert Weiss. Astrophotographer Robert Weiss has been shooting astrophotographs since childhood, and uh, he will show us some of his recent work um, because we got clear skies around here not too long ago. Um, of, uh, you know, that he's done with his, I, I think it's his Explore Scientific ED-102, but it is mounted on a G11 with the PMC-8 as well. So I uh, hope you enjoy the program. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we'll be fielding customer uh, questions or questions from the, uh, the Open Go To community if you're watching. Um, and uh, keep looking up and we'll see you at 4 p.m. Central. Take care.